What is it? Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down a bit? Just in case. Maximum! Maximum is the only way! I know, I know it is, but could you please turn it down just this instance? Just this one time? Maximum is not the only way, okay? Pump it to the brick! Pump it to the hard master! There's no other way! Glue style! See? He pumps it to the hard master. It's hopeless. Of course it is. Yeah! Permanent enlightenment! Ray of sound! Never mind then. Let's get on with our project. I'm going to unmute the speakers on a count of five. Everyone ready? Egghead pumps his hand up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. Born ready. Ready. I'm ready if you two are detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. There's tightness in your chest. Anxiety. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mute disengaged. The woman looks around. In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. In the silence, a low hum starts creeping up your spine. It's a song inside you, not in the speakers, not in the room. A great bass sigh in the basement of your mind. Slowly it builds until the air around you starts to vibrate. It's out there now, in the world, made manifest. It will devour everything, the floorboards, the glass, the streets and the people. Nothing will remain. Guys, what's going on? It's getting louder. Hosiana, mother of Mega. He's peaking. The worst high he's ever been on. The beauty and the beat! The future of dance! Planetary! No, Egg! It's the window! In the corner of your eye, the lieutenant steps aside, cautiously, his eyes searching for a possible evacuation route. The window is going to come down! No, the roof! Come down to us! Love! Below it, all the base grows, like the jaws of a giant compressor gnawing on metal and wood. It does not sound benevolent at all. It's shaking the building's foundation. The floor twists. That's it. I'm muting it. Beautiful car! Beautiful life! Shit! It doesn't stop. A seal? Have you? Yes, I've turned it off. Andre, pull the compressor. The place is going to come down. Fuck, I can't shut it up. The signal's passed. It's not in here. It's... In the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This is it. A great roar. The vault of the roof twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the door. It's coming down. But then... It stops, totally and utterly, as if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Everybody is staring at Egghead, holding a dangling cable in his hand. A black three-pin connector. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. You did good, Egg. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady. Tell me you were recording that. Four years. Twenty-two people. Millions of reals. All that time, this is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswolf isn't gonna believe this. Yeah, but did you record it, though? It was dope. I think we can use it. Yes, Andre. I recorded it. 
Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered, but I know what it sounds like now. That's the start. It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. I promise, officer. We will not play it again. It was mathematical information from the anomaly presented as a waveform. That's what it was technically. Theoretically, I have no idea. I've never even heard of anything like this. Yes, our lead designer. And maybe some of the producers too. And some of the writers. If they're sober enough to open a transmission. They need to hear. They need to hear about this. Don't worry, I won't send the recording. Although I doubt they have the speakers to produce the frequency anyway. Stay here! I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters, maybe meet Sulisquov. Also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. I don't care, but thank you anyway. That's the best she can manage for Andre. It's quite a lot in truth. For her, at least. Now, I have a theory to come up with. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Or the letter will sound like I've lost my mind. Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. Some tiny hard thing lets go in your stomach. You're still alive. You don't have to. You already have. A long time ago. These thoughts formed in you somewhere in a long forgotten discussion behind the kitchen table in the evening light. And a woman, she was there too. Her hair smelled of shampoo as she was smoking. What? But, but Pale isn't here. We're thousands of kilometers from the edge. That comforts her. She looks up into the darkness under the nave, then back at you. You have her full, undivided attention. The lieutenants, too. He takes his glasses off. Then... What is that? It's nothing. No, it's less than nothing. No. Then the pale is... But the milk... It clearly hasn't started curdling yet. We're here, and the pale is not. I understand. A theory of the pay where instead of an outer ocean, it metastasizes. Like a cancer or a mole. Erupting in points inside the world. According to this, how long... ...an information causing data losses in the East in Selindian front. Have you considered why it's formed in a church? And also when or how it might start growing, or if it has other effects in addition to sound and data? I also have a question, since we are piling them on. How do you know this? I'm not doubting you. I'm simply curious as to how a detective of the RCM... Of course! A pine wood sarcophagus, or a... A containment facility of some kind, built by the first settlers. I have considered the same. The bad news is, there were seven Pinewood churches built in the first decade of provincial settlement. Most of them were burnt down during the revolution, or repurposed before, during the suzerain. I'm not saying all of them have one in them, but... Some of them might. A black grain hanging in the air. 
You think the presence of that puncture has somehow influenced the outcome of events here? Even, say, software development? I told the producers we need to go and move to a normal office building, with amenities. But no, the artists like the milieu, the writers like the history. I told them. I told them. But no, normal office buildings are bourgeois. An amateur anthropomorphic police officer. I'd like to say I've heard stranger things, but I'm not sure. This is a hell of a guess, however. Well worded, I might add. Yes, it is very interesting. But I wouldn't say you know. This is a guess. One that's going to have to be proved by anthropogenetic scientists. She falls silent. The wind blows in through the hole in the stained glass window. Cold and moist. I'm going to leave that out. But the rest? Some of this I can use to start to explain this to the rest of the team. Maybe I'll sound mad, but... Ma'am, you will certainly sound mad. One more thing. Maybe a club for anodic music isn't the worst thing you can erect around this particular point in space. I wouldn't go so far as to... Yeah! Once the light is on in the universe, it will never go out! Thank you, Egghead. Let's leave it at that, shall we? We have an anthropogenic detection to perform in this district. The creepy woman! We were wondering about that when we worked there, but I had completely forgotten about it ever since. It must be anthropogenic crosstalk, the one you get in radios and long distance calls. Now it makes sense with the pay right on the doorstep. Incredible. This would also explain why we get it on the police radio all the time. It's quite common, actually. When the signal gets rooted through pale, all kinds of irregularities take place. You may hear snippets of someone else's conversation, or the voice of your former lover, or an echo of an event that took place 100 years ago. Pale is a shroud of memories, and it doesn't really distinguish to whom those memories belong to. You could hear anything, anytime. <laughs> 